into that seat, settling down, Finny. <laughs> oh, letting out a breath and then inviting one in. And then doing that again, in and out with the breath. Hmm. We offer some neck rolls, Just arriving in this space, knowing that we don't have to be still. We can move a little bit and keep that awareness in the breath. And then bring that neck to center, bring those shoulders over at the hips. And then we'll bring our elbows back so our arms are kind of, not quite behind us, but we can bring that left hand behind the back. So the back of the left hand is across the back. And then that left hand just kind of finds that right elbow crease. And then we'll just breathe into this shape. This is a nice shoulder opener. If you want, you can move the head or drop the chin. Maybe look over that left shoulder. And if that's not accessible with the arm behind the back, then just place that hand like in front and move that gaze over the left shoulder. Another breath in. And then exhale, bring the hands to the side. Tint the fingers on the floor like spider fingers on the floor. And then bring the right ear over to the right shoulder. Feeling that breath. And then now bring the left shoulder, or the left ear to the left shoulder. And then bring the head back to center. Bring that left elbow to a bend and bring the right arm behind the back. The right hand on the inside of the elbow crease. And maybe look over that right shoulder or if you want to move the neck, tuck the chin down at an angle to open up the neck, that's a really nice option too. And just breathing into the side of the neck, the shoulders. Now release the arms again. Find some neck rolls. And then maybe bring the hands to the lap or the hands to prayer. We have a full moon on the 31st. So that's a full moon in a couple days. From what I'm reading about the full moon, it's a nice time to release beliefs that don't serve and to fill that space with what ifs. Just let the mind go wild with what ifs. So maybe bringing that energy into the space today. What if? Providing some creative energy in space. What if? Another deep breath in. Exhale, let the breath go. Now let's roll over onto our hands and knees for tabletop. <clears throat> and when you get there, just taking any movements that might feel nice on the body before bringing those knees underneath the hips and hands underneath the shoulders. So if there's anything that feels good in between, maybe a downward facing dog, you can find that. And then meet in tabletop. So let's meet there together, wrists under shoulders, knees under the hips. And we're gonna inhale to send that right leg back nice and long. And then bring that toe to the ground, then lift it back up, the heel comes up, draw the knee in, 
And then the knee comes out to the side, extend that leg long, bend the knee, bring the knee back and inhale, leg goes long. Bring the toe to the ground, lift it up, bring that knee in. Knee comes out to the side, extend that leg out if it feels right. Bend it back in, knee comes in, and then lower that right knee down. Let's find a wide-legged child's pose. Extend the arms out long. Keep that left arm out in front and bring the right arm behind. Maybe press the palm down behind you and in front, or maybe just the back of that hand behind you. Opening up the side body and a little bit of the neck in the back. And then we'll inhale to bring the right arm to the front and the left arm comes back. So pulling in opposite directions, lengthening spine, lengthening arms, and filling our space with the what ifs. Possibility and creativity to fill our energy field. Bring the left arm up and then roll in the tabletop. And then we'll extend the leg long and an inhale. So bring the left leg behind you, lower down the toe to the ground, and then bring that knee in and then bring it out to the side, extend the leg out to the side, bend the knee, bring it in, inhale, the leg goes behind us, toe tap it down, then lift the heel up, draw the knee in, send the knee to the side, inhale to lengthen the leg open and long, and then bring the knee back to meet the right one, extend it long one last time, leg behind us, tap the toe down, lift it back up, Knee comes in and then out to the side, and then open the leg long, and then bring that knee in, walk the hands forward, and then send the hips up and back, out of Mukhasranasana. <sighs> and when you get to your downward facing dog, maybe drawing that stomach in, lifting the six bones to the sky, the chest reaching for the thighs, and now plant that left hand kind of in the middle, of the mat and send that right arm behind you or to the left knee or left ankle for a little three-legged dog. And now bring the right hand forward, plant the right hand, and then bring that left hand to the right thigh, maybe just reaching behind you. Nice, strong right hand, breathe in. And then exhale, bring that left hand down back to downward facing dog. And now step everything forward between the hands, bending the knees in our forward fold. And now plant the hands and let's walk our feet back to come into downward facing dog. So we're just kind of caterpillaring back to downward facing dog. Walking the feet back, finding our downward facing dog, breathe in. Exhale, open up the back of the body by planting the hands. And now caterpillar walk those toes, draw the belly button to spine up towards the hands. Nice and easy. Walk, walk, walk. And when you get there, maybe grab opposite elbows. And now bend the knees and the head comes up last and nice and slow as we rise to our mountain pose. And then hands come above the head, maybe back down to prayer or to the side body. And find the starting point in our mountain pose, ground through the feet, the crown of the head lifts to the sky. Inhale, float the hands above the head. Exhale, bring the hands down. Inhale, float them up. With the hands reaching to the sky, plant the left foot, pick up the right foot back, find warrior two as we spin the right foot out, and then bring the hands down, fingertips point towards the earth, and then open back up, nice and long with the arms, reaching for the short edge to the short edge, <clears throat> and really sink into those hips. Deep breath in. And then send the right hand down that right leg, left hand reaches for sky. Find some length between the shoulder blades. 
Breathe in. And then exhale back to warrior two. Find some strength in this shape. And let the shape bring us some strength. Then exhale, hinge at the waist. The left hand comes on the inside of the leg. The right arm reaches up. You can rest that elbow on top of that knee, maybe finding your chin mudra, thumb and index together. Or the left hand just extends long, or left arm extends long. Breathe in. And now exhale back to warrior two. Good, guys. Hands come to the hips. Pivot the left foot towards the long edge, the right foot towards the short edge. Bend that knee. Find that strength in the shape. And open up the arms. Lengthen through the fingertips. And this time we'll come above the head to lengthen through the fingertips up. Yep, and then exhale. Hands come out wide. Left hand down that back leg, right arm coming up. Breathe in. Exhale, the right arm comes on the inside of that leg, or you can stack the right elbow on top of the knee, finding a mudra, maybe with thumb and index together. Breathe in. And then exhale back to warrior two. Uh huh. Inhale. Exhale, hands come to the hips. Let's pivot the feet towards a long edge. And now you can hop your feet together or heel toe them together. We're going to move into our moon salutations. So we're going to draw in that energy from the full moon, that really amplified energy. And feel that creativity, feel that possibility amplified as we tune into this new or this full moon energy. So we'll inhale, arms come up to the sky. Ground through the feet. Exhale over to the left. And then over to the right, a side stretch. Back to the middle, nice and long through the arms, steady through the feet. And now step the feet wide, bring the arms out. Here's our extended mountain pose. So find that grounded center in an extended mountain pose. Inhale. Now exhale, pivot that right foot towards the long edge, send the right arm past the foot and hinge at the waist. Trikonasana. Notice where the triangle shape is in your body, the base, maybe between the arms. That creativity, transformation, and sustenance in the triangle. Inhale. Exhale, bring that left hand down to meet the right. Bend the right knee and then pivot onto the ball of the left foot. You can bow over this leg for your bowing crescent lunge. Or if you want to lift the arms up to the sky, up to the hips, you can lift the arms. So find what feels right for you. Breathing in and out a couple breaths. Breathing in and out. Now exhale, bring the hands down to frame the foot. And when you frame that foot, pivot towards the long edge and then come into your side lunge. So our skandhasana, the heart can either hover over that leg or if you want to lift the shoulders over the hips and rise, you can. And then that left foot can either stay planted or you can lift and open the hip up so the toes point towards the sky. There's a couple of variations with hip openers today. Breathe in. And now plant that left foot. If you had the toes to the sky, shift the hips to the middle of the mat, point the toes towards the corners, and then we find our Utakata Konasana. Here's our goddess squat. Any variation with those arms, maybe you want to open them wide, or maybe you want to keep them in heart center. Option to come on the balls of the feet, lifting the heels off the ground. And lower those heels whenever you're ready. Strain those legs. <clears throat> Pivot the feet towards the long edge and now over to the left side. Skandasana. Option to bring the toes to the sky, opening up the hips. Or keep that foot down. Inhale. Exhale, bring those hands to the floor. Pivot the feet. So both sets of toes face the long edge. Find your crescent lunge. You can either bow over that leg or you can lift up and rise. So tuning into your prana, your energy, see what feels just right for you.
Now, if your hands are lifted, exhale and fold over that foot. So frame the foot and then pivot that right heel down, straighten that left leg, and then bring the right arm up to sky. We come into triangle. Inviting in that ability to create and sustain and transform. Amen. Exhale, opening up the chest. We send the right arm back. Right hip back, one more breath. Exhale, bring the arms up, pivot the foot, so we're gonna extend the mountain pose. Let the breath go. Good, inhale, reach the arms to the sky, let's step our feet together. And exhale, over to the left, and then to the middle, and then over to the right. We're gonna do this another time, so bringing the hands to the middle, stepping your feet wide, Uti to Tadasana, breathing in. Exhale to ground. Inhale. And now exhale, pick with that right foot towards the long edge. Send the right hand past the toes and hand to the waist. Trikonasana. Left arm reaching the sky. If you want, you can bring that right arm out past the ear. Notice the side body a little more. Inhale. Exhale, bring that right hand down if you have it lifted. Come on to the ball of the left foot. The left hand comes to meet the right hand. And then bend that right knee. You can either hover or you can rise in your crescent lunge. Let those shoulders drop from the ears. Deep breath in. And exhale, fold it forward to frame the foot and pivot the feet towards a long edge. And we've got our side lunge. Skandasana. Lord of War pose. You feel that creativity amplified. Feel the possibility. Breathing in. Now exhale, bring everything to the middle, pivot the toes out. Here's our God's pose. Maybe this time we bring our arms out and then bend the elbows like cactus or goal posts, and then we can just rock to one side. And then another, just a little bit of a active side body opening and strengthening. Always an option to lift those heels off the ground. <laughs> Let's bring our arms back to the middle, extend the hands out, and then pivot the feet towards the long edge and exhale over towards the left side. Hands can come in prayer or rest on the top of that leg. Maybe noticing the heart starting to beat faster. And tie that to the energy of possibility increasing. Exhale, bring the hands to the ground, pivot the feet towards the short edge, so they face the front. And you can either lift or surrender here in crescent lunge, Ashtachandrasana. Draw the belly button in no matter where you are. If your arms are lifted, kind of tuck that pelvis and reach through the fingertips. Exhale. Pivot the right heel down so the toes face the long edge. Straighten that front leg, the left hand on the inside of the leg, and the right arm reaches for sky. Yes, and as you reach that right arm up, we notice the lengthening in the side body on the right side, and if you bring that left arm up past the ear, to kind of hold that head, if you could rest the head on your arm. Notice the left side body active. One more breath. And then exhale, bring the arms out long, pivot the feet towards the long edge of the mat. Here we are, Chukitadasana. Let the breath go. Inhale. And then exhale, we'll step our feet together, gathering in all that energy. Hands come above the head. And exhale, drawing those hands down to the heart. We're going to pause here for a breath. And then we'll inhale, reach the arms to the sky, folding it forward, moving right into our sun salutation. That moon reflecting the sun. So let our practice today just be that reflection of that solar energy. So drawing that solar energy in to amplify this energy. Let's find the flat back, pause for a breath. Hands can come to the thighs, head reaches forward. 
And then exhale, fold again. Now we're gonna step both feet back, coming into plank pose, Talakasana. Mm -hmm. Breathe in. Maybe shifting forward on the balls or under the toes, the shoulders or past the hands. Lower down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Then inhale, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. And then exhale back, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Lifting those sits bones high. So feel this energy that we're cultivating that the moon reflects with our sun salutation. Let's step our feet forward between the hands. Exhale. And up in the knees, let's rise up all the way to stand. Hands come to the heart space. We're gonna do that one more time. Inhale, hands come up. Exhale, fold it forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, flat back. Good, guys. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, step the feet back, plank pose. Let's be here for two breaths. Lifting those hips high. And then lowering down for Chaturanga Dandasana, pausing at the bottom, the heart hovers, elbows bend. And then inhale, lift the heart. The tops of those thighs hover over the earth. Shoulders down, the elbows kind of near the hip bones. Breathe in, nice top guys. Exhale back, Adho Mukha Svanasana. And now in this downward facing dog, we're gonna plant the left foot and then bring the right foot to sky, bend the knee, stack the hips. Maybe make your favorite shape with that knee. Again, opening up the hips just a little bit. And now lower down that right foot, bring the left foot up to the sky, bend the knee, stack the hips. Couple revolutions with the knee and then lower that foot down. Now let's lower down our knees. Let our chest and our chin and come all the way onto your belly. Let's bring our elbows underneath the shoulders and then shine the heart through, pressing the elbows and the hands down, lifting the heart for our Shalamba Bhujangasana. And now pull energetically those elbows towards the hips and the hips towards the elbows. And notice the strength of the back body. Maybe close the eyes. Breathing in, breathing out. And now let's lower down the stomach, lower down the chest just a little bit. And now bring the arms out like a Y. Maybe you come onto your fingertips. You can have them a little bit more out at the side versus way out in the front. So find your hands on the ground and we're gonna press the palms down and lift the heart. And you can adjust those hands however you want, just opening up the chest. Just a different approach to opening the chest, but we're strengthening the back body. And now exhale, lower down the chest and the heart, bring the hands under the shoulders. Let's press it back, finding child's pose, maybe wide like a child's pose, or just sitting back on the feet. Breathe in and breathe out. And now we'll roll it forward, finding tabletop. In our tabletop, stack the knees underneath the hips, and then swing that left foot out. The right foot comes back towards that short edge. The left hand plants, and then we'll lift that right arm to sky. Here's a variation of side plank. So maybe from here, you send that left leg long, coming into full side plank, or you can keep the left knee down. We're kind of sending the chest forward and the right shoulder back. So we feel like the strength in the back of the left shoulder. Maybe you wanna lift that top leg to the heavens or the right arm. One more breath. And then lower down, finding our plank pose. And then our plank will lower down our knees, send the hips back, lengthening the spine in child's pose. And exhale. Breathe in and breathe out. Now inhale up to tabletop, pressing the earth away. We can ascend the right foot out to the, out past the mat and then send the left leg towards the short edge of the mat. Ground the right knee, ground the right hand. 
and then find your variation of side plank. Maybe you send the right leg all the way long, or you can keep the knee down. And maybe this is where you start to get creative. What if? <laughs> Any variation of side plank. Our endless possibilities for our day, for our creativity, for our energy. Two more breaths. Exploring all the possibility. Now exhale, bring the feet down. So now we come back to plank. And now in our plank pose, let's bend the knees, lowering the knees down. Let the elbows bend, lowering the heart, the nose or the chin comes to the ground. Now press up and then back. Downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Breathe in. And now let's exhale, lower down the knees, coming down onto the stomach again. When we get to our stomach, let's let the hands come to the side so they reach kind of towards the toes and then bend those feet to the sky. So the knees are bent. And now just rock those knees side to side. You can also use your hands as a pillow for your forehead. So this is a gentle little kind of twist for the low back with the feet rocking side to side. And now maybe we lift the head, let the feet and the legs be still, sweep the arms behind us, just reach for the heels. We don't have to touch them, but we can reach for them. And we don't have to lift the heart a lot. We can lift the heart just a little and reach. You even want to lift the legs off the ground. An active bow pose. Yep, breathe in. Exhale, lower down the legs. Now let's roll over onto our backs. And on the back, let's pull those knees in right away to the chest. And then let's find our happy baby. So the feet come to the sky again. And then find the outside of the foot or maybe the big toe. And then first, just let the gravity and weight of our arms pull those knees in. And maybe if you want a little more, you can pull with your strength those knees towards the armpits. Now let's exhale, bring the feet towards the earth, soles of the feet together, finding a reclined butterfly. Maybe here we move that head side to side. And allow ourselves to rest. And then moving into Shavasana whenever you're ready. Maybe you want to stay here for Shavasana. Notice the movement in the body, even as we lay still. And then letting go of any awareness. We go about our next couple of days leading into this full moon. 
can we perhaps remain in this space of endless possibility, creativity, entertaining the what ifs, Those what ifs that get us excited, those what if, not those what ifs that get us anxious. Those invigorating, inspiring what ifs. And whenever you're ready, roll it over to one side and savoring that time on your side in that fetal position this chance to be born into opportunity and creativity. When you're ready, you press in, <clears throat> up to a seat with ease. We'll exhale, bring our hands to our heart space. And inhale. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Om. Namaste.